Chicago when we stood before them. About 350 preachers. You women here from Chicago, you were there. Heard about it? And the Lord told me three nights before, said they were going to set a trap for you. He said, send to winter and I'll show you. He said, Mr. Carlson and, and Tommy Hicks will meet you tomorrow morning. Want to go to breakfast? And you tell Tommy to stay. But said, here's the way to look. Tell them that they're not going to have that meeting in the place they're thinking about. They're going to be in another place. He said, don't you fear. I'll be with you. Amen. That's good enough for me. Amen. The next morning, Mr. Carlson... President of the full gospel businessman comes said, called me up and said, Brother Brown, I'm going to go to breakfast with you. I said, all right. I said, watch Tommy hits me there too. I said, Tommy, would you do me a favor? Sure, Brother Branham. I said, I wonder if you'd speak for me. He said, oh, I couldn't do that. I said, why? I'm just a seventh grade student. I, I say, I'd say empire instead of umpire. <laughs> See, I don't know how to speak before there. And there's going to be the Ministerial Association of Greater Chicago. How am I going to speak before them in my seventh grade education? Tommy, you're a doctor of divinity. I said, you know how to talk. I don't. He said, Brother Bram, I couldn't do that. I said, why? I've done you many favor. And I just put it real straight. And Brother Carson said, oh, Brother Bram, he couldn't do that. I said, why? He said, well, I said, you know why? You know why, but you don't want to tell me. They got a trap set for me. And I said, Brother Carson, you've got that hotel room, have you, where we had the other banquet? Yes. I said, you're not going to get it. He said, well, Brother Bram, I done got the deposit on it. I said, I don't care what you got. It's not going to be there. That's a green colored room. We're going to be in a brown colored room. I'm going to be back in the corner. Dr. Needle set to the right. That colored man and his wife will sit here and so-and-so. There'll be a Buddha priest sitting to my extreme right and how they'll be dressed. Now I said, you know what it is, Tommy. Your Greater Chicago Ministerial Association is going to challenge me on the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. On the evidence of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. On the serpent seed and on the preaching of grace. Tommy looked over and mercy goodness. said, I don't think I'll even go. I said, yeah, you come on. And the next day, the man who had took the deposit, gave him back the deposit and said, we got an archer's truth. We had it booked up and we forgot it and it lost that uh, thing and we had to give it to the orchestra and you can't have it. And we went out to Cat Town and Country. Walked in that morning and there they all stood. When I sat down behind the desk back there and waiting, after they had breakfast, I looked around at them like that. We had breakfast in the room, come out, sat down there, and there's the Greater Ministerial Association of Chicago. I looked around to them. Each one introduced themselves as Dr. Ph.D., L.L.Q.U.S.T., and all them kind of things like that. I just sat and listened at them. So they got through. Brother, Brother Carlson stood up. He said, Gentlemen, and all of you know Hank Carlson. <laughs> Asked him, well, you got it on tape right here. You don't buy the tape, it's here. The boys has got it. He said, gentlemen, he said, I introduce you next to Brother Branham. He said, you all might disagree with him on his doctrine. But let me tell you something. Three days ago, we sat in a place. And if that man didn't tell me everything that's happened this morning, I'm not standing here. He told me that you all were fixing a questioning on his doctrine. And he told me that I'd have to cancel out that other place and be here and told me exactly where Dr. Mead and these people would be sitting just exactly and here they are. He says, you might have disagreed with him, but i say one thing. He's fearless with what he thinks about. He said, now, Brother Branham, the floor is yours. I said, before we start, I read what I did this morning. I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. I said, now, let's settle this. Now you all speak of being doctors of divinity and I stand here by myself. I said, if that's so, you want to question me on the baptism in Jesus' name, we'll start with that first. I want one of you men to bring your Bible and stand here by my side on anything that I've taught. I said, stand here by my side and with the Word of God disprove it. I waited. Nobody said nothing. I said, I'm asking for some of you men to come stand by my side. So what's the matter with you? Then stay off my back. If you're afraid to stand here by me, it's not me they're afraid of. It's that angel of the Almighty God. But they know if he could foretell me to come to him, right or not, I thought they were. They know better to stand there. What's the matter? I'm ready to talk it over in a Christian way with any brother. I won't argue with nobody, but I want you to come disprove any of it. By the Word, not by your textbook. Now, I know what Dr. So-and-so or Saint so-and-so said. I want to know what God says. 